Hi folks, um, thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm going to get out to as many sessions as I can over the next few weeks to talk about the CQC report, but for those that I can't get to, I'm obviously not going to be here in person today, I just thought I'd spend one or two minutes um, giving a bit of reflection on, on my views of the CQC report. Um, I'm going to start off with a massive thank you. So, although this inspection is a bit different to the ones we've had before, the constant theme that we see in our inspection reports from the CQC is an absolute recognition of the quality of care, the compassionate care, the kindness that you and your colleagues are showing to our patients each and every day, regardless of the pressures we find ourselves under, and that just makes me feel incredibly proud. Um, I have just said that the inspection's a little different this time than the ones we've had before. So this inspection also includes a view of our financial performance, and is a more targeted view of a, a review of our services. So CQC didn't look at all our services. They looked at those services deemed to be um, highest risk based on our risk assessments and their view of, of, um, of performance. So unsurprisingly, they focused on urgent care and our A&E performance and surgery given where we were on, on waiting list performance. Um, so it's important that we recognise that although this is the inspection regime for the CQC now, it is different to that inspection that we had in 2016-17. In um, the inspection teams have highlighted the areas that we know that we need to improve in. So we know we want to improve in our performance. We know that for some shifts and in some wards and departments, our staffing levels aren't as high as we'd like them to be. Um, and they also highlighted that when we're under pressure, um, we're not as good as we could be about tracking actions or recording notes or, uh, or making sure that we've got our documentation up to date. So the report itself talks about um, three separate inspections, one on leadership, well led, one unannounced inspection of our services and one on finance. And for each of those three areas um, we've got some areas of, of improvement to focus on. Um, and they do sit within improving our financial performance, improving our core target performance and also in the area I've just mentioned around even under pressure making sure that we do the basics well each and every day. Um, one of the elements of the statement you might have seen from the CQC, Ted Baker who's the lead inspector of hospitals, is something that I'm going to echo now before you hear from colleagues on um, a bit more detail of the reports. And that's our track record in Morecambe Bay of listening, responding to feedback like this, and then doing all we can to improve and put patients at the heart of the services we provide. And I'm absolutely confident that with the feedback we've had up to this point, the actions we've got in front of us, and the way that we, do, we generally approach these things, I've got real confidence that we'll improve from here. So uh, thank you for listening, and hopefully you'll get a bit more insight from uh, one of our colleagues now on the detail of the report.